going on, everyone? We have good sound for you in this Let's Play. This is Mystery of the Druids. A friend of the channel, Bully Buddy, was kind enough to gift this to me. Been sitting on it for a while, and since we're playing from House of Tales, since we're playing spooky games this time of year, I thought this would be appropriate. Let's watch the intro and find out what's going on here. Get some context, as we always do. House of Tales Entertainment presents. Love that font. It's so spooky. Like, you would never put that on a child's birthday cake. But for Mystery of the Druids, my first time ever playing it, but I assume it's perfect. Tobias. I can try to pronounce that last name. The Mystery of the Druids. This takes place in the UK. The accents will tip you off once we get into it. Stonehenge. Good place to have a druid ritualistic dealy. Or a Stonehenge kind of dealy. Oh man. They need to bring this graphic style back. I don't even mean there's like a nostalgic tribute, just it needs to replace what we have today. We don't need 120 frames a second. We've just been conditioned to think that we do. Give me games that max out at 20 frames. With a good wind, you know, on a good day. here for, gentlemen? Oh, there's some babies. Christening? A mass bris? Maybe a mass bris? That guy really hates babies from the look on his face. And the general vibe. Why don't they come with instruction manuals? What? This is getting very loud. Those three guys are so glad they got the memo about wearing flame-resistant clothes tonight. <laughs> Best That's intro ever? You're a blockhead, Lowry. How could you let such a thing happen? The man was innocent. What do you think the press are I don't know what my wife's already? talking about. There's something wrong with my walk. Now get out of here! Get the hell out of my sight! I think it's great. But if I have any more trouble with you, you'll be dishing out parking tickets before long. Well, that's a promise, Lowry! Ten frames a second. <laughs> Twenty might have been generous. I still love this. Oh, and here's my good friend Halligan. Another one of the invaluable detectives of our glorious murder squad. Don't just stand there gaping. Come in. Man, love that dry bridge sarcasm. I'm glad you could make it. After all, you're a busy man, aren't you? <laughs> He's gonna be so sarcastic this whole game, I love it. Now look here, Detective Halligan. I've got used to being surrounded by a bunch of incompetent, half-baked blockheads. But your smart, well-dressed colleague Lowry has just earned himself the golden badge of stupidity. <laughs> I was up for that. <laughs> Halligan, we've got a bit of a problem. We've had an innocent man locked up in jail. Regrettably, he was killed in prison before we could correct our mistake. Unfortunate affair. And now we've got this lunatic killer running around all over London. Nice. We have to make sure that at least this oversight is put right. I mean, for our purposes, not for the victims. Your clear-up rate so far ought to be sufficient evidence. That there's no point in asking you to clear up anything more than a common bicycle theft. But this does happen to be the murder squad. I am the chief of this department. All I have for choice is that blockhead Lowry and you. <laughs> Small department. <laughs> I am not ready for this. If... Okay, chief. What do you want me to do? <laughs> 
everyone has their eyelashes very uh it's it was the style in this game's from 2000 i believe i remember the eyelash blowout craze of year 2000 anyway you know, let's get some details so this is a point and click game from 2000 and i do love the graphics i was not being sarcastic this is pretty fantastic let's find out what's going on with uh larry who we just saw leave the blonde where did Lowry go wrong your dear colleague Lowry dealt with the skeleton murders last year you should know that halligan Lowry worked on the case for several months and finally managed to pull a culprit out of the hat a butcher from south london a married man with kids they gave him a life sentence he was in jail till three weeks ago Somebody stabbed him in jail, I guess. Pull out of a hat, you say? <laughs> I want to be... Should we make our, our character incredibly naive throughout this game? Pulled out of the hat, you say? So the butcher didn't do it after all? Oh, you're a genius. He didn't do it. <laughs> we found that out today. Uh, I love Chief Miller already. He didn't do it. How could he be convicted? The most naive police officer detective of all time. He didn't do it. How could he be convicted then? Don't Detective Lowry imaginatively constructed an impressive chain of evidence. What? And the court followed his arguments in detail. Yeah. The public wanted somebody to blame. Need a fall guy. And they found somebody. That's right. That's life. So how do we know? Well, all right, these things happen. <laughs> but how do you know that the man Lowry arrested didn't commit the murders? Very simple. We frame Dead people, people all don't the time. go around committing more murders. Oh, uh, right. Not usually. There's been another murder. Exactly, Halligan. A pile of bones has been found in Epping Forest. Supposedly a male corpse. We don't know any more than that. I presume we both agree that it can't have been Lowry's man, eh? Oh, uh, of course. You see, I've just managed to get that into Lowry's head as well. You heard it? Lowry's off the case. Halligan, you drive out to Epping Forest and take a look at the evidence. Of course, sir. And Halligan... No sloppiness now. I want results. Results? Sensible results. Hell the yeah. press has already been terrorizing me this morning. The killer must be found. Do I make myself clear? Of course, Chief. Good. This is the file with all the necessary information, and now you'd better get going quickly. Our response made it seem like we were just not into the whole detective thing. We thought there'd be more explosions and things like that. Well, this might be our chance, actually. We can keep talking to the Chief, it looks like. What mad assassin are you referring to? Halligan, it's well known that you'd rather read those crazy books of yours during office hours than taking any real interest in the affairs of this department. But it would now appear that you've even stopped reading the newspapers as well. For months now, a killer's been running around in London, taking victims apart and leaving nothing but bones for us to find. At least they you do can that. read about it in any newspaper. They didn't have to leave us the bones. But I thought the cash. <laughs> Should we just go in circles here? You mean the business out at the Silent Inn? That was over a year ago. There were two more murders later, Halligan. Three, actually. Hmm. That's like a big deal in England, I assume. <laughs> three murders. What do you mean, were there two murders or three? What do you mean? Were there two murders or three? Since this morning, three. Ah, yeah. There's been another murder. Exactly. Terrible short-term memory, A pile Chief. of bones has been found in Epping Forest. I presume we both... Oh. You see? You heard... Halligan? Of course. And how... I won't resist the... Do I... Of course. All right. Going in circles with the Chief here. Can we steal anything off his desk while he's watching? This, uh... What is this? Is this... A book of matches. That's actually kind of... That's crazy. I was just playing... Uh, what was I just playing on this channel? I was just playing fan... Tasmagoria from the uh, Roberta Williams and the Sierra people and I just commented that I bet matchbooks are the most ubiquitous ubiquitous item in adventure games and all of a sudden in the first two seconds we have a book of matches how about that I'm not thirsty <laughs> I'm not thirsty alright let's see if the uh, chief has any leads here we can go off with his big board Mm, lots of pictures of mean-looking fellas. Lots of pictures of sweet guns. I don't know how any of this works. Let's get out of here. Let's go to our... Uh... He's got a weird motion to him. Anyone pick up on that? 
he <laughs> takes him a second to get going. He runs very much like uh, Squall in Final Fantasy VIII, which makes sense because this came out around the same time. Protagonists in games, they had that run. Hello, Hello? Chris. Hi, Halligan. Uh, Chris. There's work for you. There's always work for me, Halligan. And right now, I've got enough work not to be disturbed again and again. Hmm. I feel like you do have time. Well, how are your amoebas doing? Very funny, Halligan. I've already got five <laughs> DNA analyses on the Christmas list. Of course, everything is very urgent, as always. No idea how I'm supposed to make it. Well, what do you want? Have you got a minute? I need the support of an expert for some checks. Halligan, I've really got to work. Can't you wait until tomorrow? Probably. There's probably going to be a chapter two taking place tomorrow, and I'm sure I'll talk to you then. Would you drive to Epping Forest? <laughs> I'm not asking you to, I'm just getting your opinion. Should I even do this? Should I just go home and read more of my novels? I wanted to ask you if you could drive out to Epping Forest with me. I need an expert. What? And got my skeleton? license revoked. Isn't that Lowry's case? It was. Till today. Till today? Hadigan's Who's turf from now. now from now on, it is my case. You're looking at him. The chief put Lowry on ice. Well, well, well. Good old Lowry. Looks as if you don't automatically achieve more with designer shirts than with normal ones. You might be right there, Chris. <laughs> Very well, specific whatever. insult. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Halligan. The thing out there in Epping Forest is a professional job. You're not going to learn anything from that pile of bones. Hmm. I'll just drive out there and have a look at it. Just you do that, Brent. Got nothing else going. Brent Halligan, everyone. Okay, Chris. See you later on. That's my own detective work. You can tell Halligan doesn't really take Chris seriously. He's a bit of an egghead, always stays behind his desk. Doesn't get out to the... Oh, can I steal any of his lab stuff? Doesn't get out into the field to get his hands dirty, you know what I'm saying? Far too hot to touch. But this one's just right. No. Nope. Far too hot to touch. All right. I sense there's going to be a puzzle here if at I some point. If I pull that hose off, the test won't work anymore. Better not. I feel like we play dumb, but we're just kind of taking everything in. We're amused by the world around us. Sorry, that's the same on both sides. I'm developing our character, even though it's already been developed by the developers of the game. Hence the term developers. All right, let's go back outside, see if we can find our office. There you go. <laughs> it's that transition speed. New Scotland Yard. Uh, it's 2000 That's all right. Oh, Coca-Cola. Sponsor? I've got no money for that. You should ask Miller to... Wait, does Miller even pay you? <laughs> Halligan, we gotta talk. This also doesn't look like my office, but... What do we got here? Hello, Janet. Hello, Brent. Janet. Nice day, isn't it, Janet? Nice day today, isn't it? Don't trouble yourself, Brent. <sighs> I will not go to the cinema with you. I nailed that. Ah, it's not that bad, right, Janet? Do you think going to the cinema with me is that bad? Okay, then. No cinema. Why don't we just go down to the King's Pub, have a pint, yeah. and talk for a bit? Play some darts, Listen, have Brent, some nuts. I don't feel like going to a stinky, cheap pub, drinking watery beer, and talking about darts, pizzas, and aliens. We can talk about pizza, aliens, and darts instead, if you prefer. I actually wanted to ask you something else, Janet. Something professional. Is that okay? Okay, then. Ask me. But just keep it short. What are your phone digits? I just want to make a couple of inquiries yeah, at use... your terminal. Sorry, Brent, but there's no way you're going to do that. Not without proper authorization. Let me use your computer. Is that comfortable? I'm just like, I'm trying to do that post myself. That really doesn't seem comfortable now that I notice it. I thought Chief Miller had just abolished the security regulations. I thought regulations. Chief Inspector Miller had just that. abolished the security regulations. Yeah. No, he hasn't, Brent. Is that all? Worth a shot. Good. See you later, then. Take your time, Brent. Yeah, I don't know about that. Do you fancy any matches, I Janet? I think about it again. Right. Not a, sure. a matchbox. Still half full. Oh, right clicking. My case file. My it's... case file. I can't see any... Mm. That I can't, doesn't work. I can't see any... Mmm. All right. So, let's go uh, Brent. Let's go Brent. We'll save the Halligans for later. 
and I think we're good with the settings. Got subtitles on. Volume mix should be okay. That doesn't work. No way. My case, that won't get me any further. How do I like, drop my case? Oh, right click. Okay. Hello, Janet. Is there Hello, anything Brent. else? <laughs> Maybe that's just how she talks to people. I don't know. Some people are socially awkward and you have to have a... I don't know, a tick, a fix, just something to... Nice day today, isn't it? Try it again. Don't trouble yourself. Hold on. How did you know that I was going to ask you that, you just did. Because you asked me the same thing yesterday. And the day before yesterday. Look, I'm not changing my mind. No, thank you. He's persistent. And just keep that, that in again. mind in the future. And then we'll finish our conversation much faster tomorrow. You're cold, Janet. Janet, what's up? Has Lowry been talking nonsense about me again? Yeah, he got kicked no, off Halligan. the phone case. And he doesn't need case. to either. You talk enough of it yourself. And now, please be good enough to let me carry on with my job, okay? I understand. Lowry has been talking about me, and you believe every word he said. I believe only what I see, Detective Halligan. Oh. And right now, I can see a man right in front of my desk oh. who is wasting my time. I like Janet. <laughs> Good then. <laughs> Good. See you later then. Take your time, Brent. You're wasting my time. Good. Excellent. Just as I did it. Perfect. I'm going to climb this ladder, Janet. Till you go out with me. <laughs> she said no, Brent. What's this board? Anything? It's always handy having one of these tucked away. We ran out not so long ago, and there was a big commotion on this floor. What is it? That's a form for stationary procurement. Without that, you don't get anything at Scotland Yard. Right, so we can get some erasers or... At least that's one thing you can get hold of here without too much trouble. They are needed for the forms. Makes it easier for the chief to sign them. What is that? It's a clipboard. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'm going to be carrying that around. This is one of those games where I'm like, all right, I guess we need that, but we don't need that, you know? I'll take that with me. You never know. I might need it. Is that a binder, a folder? A sheet of carbon paper. A sheet Very of carbon. useful when dealing with bureaucrats. Oh. Well, An instruction from the chief. Up it says, Mrs. Browning, there are no exceptions to be made regarding the new safety regulations. I hope I make myself clear. Attach this note to your pinboard and stick to it. <sighs> chief Inspector Miller. Maybe we can bond over how much we hate Miller. Going in again. Wish me luck. <laughs> Hello, Janet. What is it now? I need to use your computer. I just forgot a couple of things. What is it? Have you heard? Yes. And there was no way that I could have missed the conversation between the Chief and Lowry. It's pretty loud. <laughs> Please have the necessary information. Have we got a file about that? As far as I can see, you've already got the file, Brent. What? Yes, of course I've got the file. But you know that Larry and Stryker have been working on this so case. It's garbage. The file contains a load of ridiculous nonsense. You know that. I need the terminal. I want to play Remember Skate Remember the official Frey. channels, Brent. Get the necessary forms and then we'll talk again. It's the most awkward use of the arms I've ever seen. I need to make an inquiry now, Janet. Damn bureaucracy. <laughs> I need to make an inquiry, Janet, right <laughs> now. If you start shouting at me, I shall see the chief before you can count to three. Do you understand? And now leave here, please. Come back when you've got the necessary forms. Here, take this sheet and get it signed. Oh, she's giving me a sheet. Nice, at an awkward angle. Most awkward angle you could hand a sheet to. Ooh, have you been in the hairdressers, Tell Janet? Tell me, have you been to the hairdressers, Janet? Looks really great. How stupid do you think <laughs> I am, Brent Halligan? Do you think you can bribe me with compliments? Well, you can't know me very well. Without the forms, you won't get any inquiries here. Whatever you whisper into my ear. Good. See Good. you later, then. Excellent. Take your time, Brent. So much for that. All right, at some point, we'll use that terminal. I swear. What's wrong with her neck? This is also not my office. Who's this? Is that Brent? Uh... Lowry? Oh, he does dress interesting. Why can't I talk to him? That's so... 
Was it just a weird angle? Oh, okay. Still. Hello, Lowry. Oh, no, not you, Halligan. You're all I need at the moment. You like a magician on the weekends or something, Lowry? That's very purple. Those are some shiny shoes, too. That's a nice suit you're wearing. Don't humor me, Halligan. You don't know a thing about suits. A blind man would know from a hundred yards away that you bought your stuff at Woolworths. What do you want? Yeah, but I mascara my eyebrows like that. Anyway, have you seen my wallet? Did you pinch my wallet, Lowry? Just a quick question, Lowry. Have you seen my wallet? Your wallet? You've got a nerve. I haven't really had a very pleasant day so far, as you might have noticed. <laughs> Why would I worry about your bloody wallet? Interesting how the uh, caption didn't line up with what he actually said. Larry, could you just give me a sensible answer? I'm looking Larry, for my wallet. Larry, I'm prepared to murder so you what? if you, you don't give I've me got my it? wallet. Why don't you just go and clear up your oh-so-tidy office? Maybe you'll find some of those things you allegedly just wanted to borrow for a while. Where is my office again? Let's not argue, Larry. I need some information from you about the last investigations. You've got the file, Halligan. I suppose you can read. And now scram. Thanks oh, yeah. for being so helpful, detective. You're welcome, Halligan. Yeah, I buried the lead. Uh, yeah, his ass is floating. I'd say a good foot and a half above that chair. <laughs> he is a magician. All right. Well, that checks out. There's something strange about that. Can I borrow your scissors? Lowry. Halligan? Oh? <laughs> yes? Might I ask you what you think you're doing? I just wanted to borrow your scissors. Just for five minutes. Six minutes Forget topped. <sighs> Don't make such a fuss about your blasted scissors. I won't break Forget them. Forget the case. Oh, Let's just do this the whole game. You won't break them, Halligan. You'll lose them, mislay them, not bring them back. You'll do with them what you always do with anything you lay your hands on. I am determined not to lose anything ever again, Halligan. Especially not to you. Do I make myself clear? You said I'd mislay Janet, didn't you? You have been talking to her. All right, then. Keep them. So this is not my office? What is it this time, Halligan? How are you bloody levitating above your chair? I'd really like to know how a braggart like you managed to get a date with Janet. Well, you know what, Halligan? Women do like a winner, don't they? Little Janet is no exception. We went to the palace yesterday. What was showing? The new Schwarzenegger film. You know how to handle women, don't you? Of course. What would that have been in 2000, said she found it disgusting. But I know for a fact that she was very keen on it. Women are like that. Do you understand? I think I know Lowry's type. I feel like we're the same type, actually. Uh, Brent and Lowry. What amazes me is why a woman like her should find your boring stories about cars, sports and action films so entertaining. Halligan, I'm sure you didn't come to tell me that. What do you really want? Are you bloody levitating? That's clearly what Janet's into. He pulled the levitation trick on her, and she was like, "Wow, all right, we can go see the, we can go see T three. When you land, I need a, I want a coat. Could you lend me some change? You haven't found your wallet, have you? Well, sorry, Halligan, but this is Scotland Yard, not the Bank of England. Oh, I thought so. The Bank of England is the central clearing bank, Lowry. You can't draw any money there. Indeed. Just try it somewhere else, then. You won't get a penny from me. I love this game about maybe baby sacrifice and just murder in general and everything. We're just so just caught up in the minutia of just inter-office politics. Things like, no, you can't have my scissors, Brent. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Lowry. It's <laughs> uh, the best game. All right. How do I... <laughs> Lowry, how do I get off this screen? Oh. Yeah, this is one of those hunting games where you have to really search around to find what you're looking What Can I do something here? Don't change the cursor like I can books. do something. He's got books? Okay. They're probably just for show, meant to impress the ladies. Yeah, Janet seems like the type who would go for a book guy, but I read books. Books? He's got books? The They're chiefs? probably just for show. Meant to the chief said so himself. Fan? He's got fan? 
probably just for show. Are we cheering on? Ha! Hope you like it a little bit cooler, Lowry. I'm leaving. What's this? Is this my office? Yeah, this is my office. <laughs> it's got a pile. Have you been on hoarders yet, Halligan? I won't find anything I could make use of now in there. Yeah, I don't think you'll find anything you can make use of in this office. This is my collection of case files. I won't find anything I could make use of now in there. The Scott, there's only superfluous stuff in there. I won't need these books now. Let's look at our desk. Uh... Doesn't work like that. You don't hear anything, and nothing happens either. It's not like a nihilist. He's just kind of over everything. I never use the receiver. That thing is just too heavy. Using the loudspeaker is much more comfortable. You know, lift, Halligan. That's too heavy. I mean, I don't think Janet's like into the the macho guy. She did see a Schwarzenegger movie, but she wasn't that into it. But like, I think she would appreciate a man who can lift a phone. I don't want to speak for uh. I'm going to speak for Janet, but no messages. I'd better leave that here. Can I change my outgoing machine? I'd better leave that here. Okay. It doesn't work like that. You don't hear anything, oh, and nothing happens either. Here we go. Uh, What's the number in? 999? That's what you... <laughs> In the case of an emergency, that's what you you dial 999 and you hear a reassuring beeping. And all is right with the world. All right, we'll try that later. Do you need any paper clips? I guess not. There's a pencil, coffee mug. Yeah, getting out of these screens isn't always the easiest. Do we need a folder, pencil, uh, that, hat, sweet hat? Can't turn up to a murder scene without a sweet hat. It's a little bit too bulky to walk around with. Okay. That one is wet. Anyway, I'm already wearing a coat. When you have a wet coat in your office when you're already wearing it, I don't really understand that. What we got here? Crop circles, the latest evidence. Ooh, we're going to get into uh, some... Alien territory. He did say aliens. Good to know he? that there are intelligent life forms out there. Or In Jan here, I only meet weirdos like Detective Lowry. Janet said that. I bet. Uh, I bet Halligan fancies himself a uh, a Fox Mulder type. Would have been, you know, relevant at the time. John Sinclair, Ghost Hunter. My favorite book. We'll see if that's true. You can stop smoking. It's a thick book. I hardly use it. My cooking book for single households. Sad. Ah, all about darts. Wow. Top title. There was a really good DIY description yeah. to build dart boards in it. And we just need something about, what was the third topic? I don't know, cheap beer? I don't remember the last one. Alien, oh, pizza. We need a book on pizza now, and Janet will have us pegged. I didn't like that book very much. I wanted to give it to Stryker, but he doesn't read. Although, I mean, if she knows that much about us, there's hope. Just saying. About this. Oh, my God. I don't that's... find anything I could make use of now in there. Oh, here's the pizza. But Al's Pizza Palace makes the best pizza in the whole of London. Pizza. How do you pronounce that in England? Unfortunately, there's no pizza in there anymore. Pizza? Al's Pizza Palace pizza. makes the best pizza in the whole of London. Pizza. Okay. Pizza. What is this? Apple juice? Is there anything worse than thirst? I'll take it with me. <laughs> Big old bottle of apple juice. What a wholesome inventory we have right now. I mean, this part's very boring, but the apple juice is very wholesome. Is this an old sock? Don't need the old sock, apparently. Files. Nothing but files. Close this? Are there other drawers I can mess with? Oh, it's a set man. This game is all right. I'm respecting the amount of detail with how precise I need to be with these I'll clicks. Take it with me. Maybe I'll give it back to Miss Browning today. Oh, Janet. 
The green scarf. It's Janet. Huh. I'm determined to give up smoking. Leave those alone. Good for you. We did pick up the matches, though. Maybe a comfort thing. That used to be my weekly ration. Leave them. I don't need those anymore. Nope. No darts now. Maybe I'll play later. Against my favorite opponent, Inspector Miller. That, like, toss him at his picture or something? What'd we just pick up? A roll of plastic bags to secure evidence. Important in a crime scene. How about this last drawer? Ooh, yeah, murder gloves, or murder scene gloves. Big difference. My gloves. I nicked them out of the exhibit room. Okay. My brown sock? <laughs> How did that get in here? We'll spent an hour thinking about that. I've already taken one this morning. Aspirin. Best-selling headache pills worldwide. Suppose that's mainly because of me. Ah, not sponsored. There's only superfluous stuff in there. There's only superfluous stuff in there. Damn, very, very nervous. I'm going to forget something here. Let's do a save. Brent, I don't think we missed anything just yet. I love this screen, by the way. There's all the druids at Stonehenge. There's a skull to remind you things are dangerous. A baby to remind us what's at stake. A young lady, potential love interest who's not Janet, by the way. Uh, Walter White, uh, Patrick Stewart on a bad younger day, and that guy. I think we saw him earlier. This is my collection of case files. It's a clock on the wall. Oh. I can find my way without a map. I know my way around well enough. The districts of London. What's this here? <laughs> oh, look at that. There he is. Yeah. Did we get to actually play later? God save the queen. Here's the queen. All right. Can we actually leave? Is that roped off? It's like a museum or something. This is just the, uh, let's see here, Metropolitan Police. Let's go to Epping Forest. Simple as. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.